Today I'm going to make a video called I lost my home due to sports cards and magic card investing. Now did I really lose my home? No I'm not an idiot. Why did you click on the video because you felt I lost my home. So I'm going to explain this in a very logical uh, understanding that there are people out there who are absolutely addicted to cards. They do not eat they make minimal wage, and they're actually in the comments section. I was actually, I put up a poll in the community page, and I read a few comments where people skip meals to buy cards, and the person who makes like thirty thousand dollars a year, you know, put a lot of money into Pokemon cards or whatnot, and he's like, oh, these boxes will go up, these boxes will go up. When investing in cards, even if it's a good opportunity, you know, again, I don't know what you exactly invested in. When you invest in something, you have to sell it. Otherwise, your living standard actually goes down because you're spending money that otherwise would go to eating meals. If you're skipping meals to buy more Pokemon cards, there's something wrong with you and you need to seek professional help. If you are the sports card dad and you're a sports card addict, you shouldn't be talking to other addicts on YouTube. You should be seeking professional help to get over your problem. And I get it, you know, I really get how addicting this is. You know, when you play gotcha games, you know, one thing that I was really addicted to was gotcha games. It's just been like, I still spend money on gotcha games when it was not nearly the same because it's not as entertaining anymore for me. But when it was very entertaining, I was highly addicted to it. Yeah, the sparkly lights and, you know, oh, it's a rainbow. Oh, wow, that, that means I got something good. Um, let me be quite frank with you. Um, if sports cards or magic cards, gotcha games, if any of these things were actually really that valuable, they wouldn't sell it to you. Let me repeat this again. If the cards that you're buying and speculating on, and let's call it speculating, let's call it for what it is, right? It's not investing. If those cards were actually super valuable and those boxes, you can open a box and double your value, triple your value, backyard break style, right? Um, no, most boxes are duds. Most boxes will lose your money. Most packs will lose your money. Most product will lose your money. Occasionally it comes in and once in a blue moon, there's a product where you can break even retail. But if you went off to sell the product buy list, you would still lose 50%, if not 80% of your money. Cause buy, that's what a buy list is, right? Especially on lower end re concurrent standard set cards. There is no possibility that you, you can make money from this. Not unless you're flipping or you're, you're making a quick dollar here and there, but long-term wise, I don't care what any of these financial gurus say, it's not worth it. Eat your meal. I mean, be healthy, you know, don't overeat like me, but like eat your meals. Do not skip your bloody meal. It is, do not skip your rent payment. Do not skip your mortgage payment. This things are gonna get out of control in 2023. Mark my words, this will be a devastating year. You think 2022 is bad, Oof. You have no idea. I mean, what I mean, what in 2023 has really improved? Are we still at war with Ukraine and Russia? Or is Ukraine still at war with Russia and we are, you know, participants, I guess, funders, fundraisers, if you will. Uh, yes, that has not changed. We are still doing that. The merchant of um, death got exchanged for Brit Brittany Grimer. So that was a great exchange for us. I'm sure that's not going to cause any more deaths in Ukraine given like, you know, the movie Lord of War, it seemed like the guy is very well connected. Um, next, and, and then probably like most of all is the stocks are down, crypto is down, everything is kind of stagnation, stagnant. You're gonna need money. People are being laid off. I think Amazon laid off twice as many people as it like initially expected. Uh, all these crypto places are laying off. What was the, it was like some Asian crypto exchange was laying off like 20% of its employees. And now people are like Justin Sun, who I hate, is now like saying, oh, don't fight guys, keep building. Don't fight, keep building. I hate crypto so much right now. I just hate it. I just hate it, hate it, hate it. A lot of bad things are happening and I don't really see any good things happening in 2023 for the economy, for us as Americans. Obviously, elections are not until 2024, November. So we still have a long time with Joe Biden. We're like half, we're just barely halfway done. And it's already been a 
god awful experience so far. For me personally, I don't know about you. Maybe you guys love him. I, I have uh, suffered immensely under his leadership, if you will, if you call it that. Dudes, people are going to lose their homes. You know it. It happened before in 2008. It's going to happen again. The bubble will burst. They are over leveraged. They didn't put any money in their homes. It's a ninja loan situation again. No income, no job. And we'll give you a million dollar home. Here, here you go. Who would say no to that? Uh, we have the student loan problem with no interest being paid over five or six years now. And so you're gonna tell these people who basically forgot they had a loan, hey, remember that thing that you signed up for and you haven't paid? Well, can you pay us back with interest? Uh, not the interest over the five or six years, but you know, interest accumulating. Uh, we have student loan forgiveness, possibly heading to Supreme Court for a decision in sometime in July. Uh, it's, it's just wild. It, it's just so wild. I think about all the dumb things that like, dumb economical things that we've been doing and it's just it gets worse every day um so the the last thing you need right now is more sports cards or magic cards in fact i'm making a few videos about investing in toilet paper because i think toilet paper is legitimately a better investment with inflation toilet paper is like a 10 percent inflation and to my knowledge it doesn't run i mean i'm gonna test it i'm gonna do buy toilet paper accumulate a lot of it and see if it deteriorates the, my only concern, right, if, if, if I wasn't concerned about deterioration, I would be buying eggs. The price of eggs has gone up like 33 to 50%. And those brown big eggs have gone up even more, like 100%. They're brown organic, you know what I'm talking about, from egg lands, right? <laughs> you know, you, if I had a way to make sure my, the eggs were not uh, going to uh, spoil, if you will, I would just invest in eggs. I'd be a reseller of eggs. It would make me a lot more money than reselling the base Luca cards. I'm going to make the actual financial uh, discussion that you can invest in toilet paper. Again, I have to see deterioration. I'm testing how long toilet paper can last and keep fluffy. I'm thinking at some point it becomes less fluffy and more, but I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone knows how that works. So I'm experimenting with toilet paper, investing in toilet paper, and seeing if that will be a better investment than sports card investors picks, which we'll get into a little later. And Alpha Investments, MetaZoo, Flesh and Blood, Weiss, you know, is non-Magic product and non-Pokemon. So it's non-big free product. I'm gonna see which one goes up more in price. And you might be like, oh, well, how are you gonna resell the toilet paper? I'm just gonna donate it to the homeless. I mean, I, I probably have to not I have to, but I make a yearly donation to them anyway. And toilet paper, what would be more, if you were homeless, what would be more important to you? Toilet paper or a, uh, or BAM, Autobio, third year silver base for the same price as a toilet paper? I mean, just think about how useful toilet paper is and who would, who would turn down toilet paper, honestly? Nobody. A lot of people don't want sports cards though. I can tell you that from uh, Jeff Wilson's videos that they rather take the cash than the sports cards. But if you took like a dollar and you said, hey, to somebody who's on like, here's a dollar, here's the toilet paper, they'd probably take the toilet paper. I, I mean, I, I don't, I, I, I can see a scenario where you know how people have meals and they give it to the homeless that a year from now, once I prove my point that toilet paper is a better investment than sports cards or magic cards, or no, sorry, non-magic, non-Pokemon cards. I'm specifically talking about Weiss, MetaZoo, and Flesh and Blood. And I will make a video, should I lose? Well, okay, if I win, I don't know. If, if I win, why would I reward myself by going to a homeless encampment? Okay, I will figure it out. If I lose and toilet paper does not outperform the cards that Jeff Wilson picks, sports card investor, or the sealed product that Alpha Investment tells you to invest in today. I'm gonna to look at the product, I'm gonna talk about it in another video. I will go in Houston with a backpack, right? One of those backpacks on, and I will pass out toilet paper to the homeless. I will make a vlog about it. We'll have to blur out the faces for obvious reasons. And uh, I will do that for a whole day. There is a huge homeless encampment in Houston. It's right under the bridge. There's probably a population of over a thousand people. I will pass out a thousand rows of toilet, at least. I will no, you know what? I'm gonna pass out them like four or five. Four or five of them, a person. 
I still probably would have enough. I mean, I'm really investing in toilet paper. Bye, guys.